Pope Francis, you got the power? What about you, Father Pedro? Do you think you have the power? I'm sure you do, because it's not just these three Jesuits that have it. We all have it. God gave us gifts and certain talents that we must use. This is our power. We must use these gifts to do justice and to stop oppression. We cannot fall victims to the drug of our comfort of privilege. We must rise up and go against the dominant myths in our society and to do what is right. These leaders, such as Pedro Rupe, Father McGrath, and our own Jesuit education, demand that we take what we have and fulfill the mission of the Kingdom of God. And but in doing so, we will fulfill the Jesuit teaching and its mission. The church needs us now, needs us now more than ever. We need humanizers, not dehumanizers. We must face oppression and take it head on. Teachings of Ignatius are such that they're always an invitation for us to use everything that we are to build up the kingdom of God. And so I think the, the power comes from God. I think the, the power is an invitation to use our time and our talents and who we are to respond ever more generously to the needs around us. And um, so that, that power of love in action is what he would think of. You know, he says love ought to manifest itself in deeds more than words, and those deeds are powerful because. If we, if we use the power and the love that we have to build up the kingdom, that's what we're supposed to be doing. So I think that's how he imagines power. I don't know that he thinks so much of it as power, even though we can see it that way. I think he sees it more as just as this is our vocation. This is using God's love that God has first given us.